Hey, what's up guys? Mopar for Life here. I got a Master Temp 250 uh, cool heating system, cool heating unit made by Pen Air Products. Uh, the issue I'm having with it today is the LCD screen on the membrane board right here is not displaying. Kind of looks like there's no power running to it or anything like that. Um, so I went ahead and just kind of like uh, did some research online, went to some forums, watched over a couple videos, and I came across a note where somebody yeah. said to check the control fuse inside the control box inside the unit. So that's exactly what I did. So I'm going to show you how to get to it and how to check and see if the fuse is in fact blown. That way you can replace it and see if that uh, brings your display back on. So as, with, as always, you know, you're going to want to turn off the power to your unit and stuff like that. Um, you can turn that off by going to your, your breaker box, finding it on there and just turning the switch off. Once you do that, you can come back to your box. And the way I got to it was I went ahead and just removed them four bolts right there. You see on the front cover there. Um, pre, pre, <laughs> already pre took them out already, but um, there's three and there's four right there. So take those four bolts out and then uh, you're gonna want to, to take the panel off. All you have to do is pretty much just lift up on the panel and pull out and the panel just comes right off. Pretty simple, right? And that'll expose all the internals inside your unit here. But uh, as we look closer, uh, right here, everything with the instructions on it, um, this is your control box. To pretty much get inside there, there is one bolt here. You're gonna wanna loosen that up once you loosen that up, you don't got to take it all the way out. And all you need is a flathead or something like that. You don't have to take it all the way out. Once you loosen up, the panel uh, door should come down on the box here. And that will pretty much expose everything inside your control box here. And we're looking for the fuse. And um, as you can see here, I have this little uh, you know, voltage light tester here. Uh, uh, voltage detector so you know as always I always just like to check and see if anything's live and stuff like that and uh, you know here's the hot wires coming in right here and I'm not getting any reading from it so I know everything is off in here but um, as we look closer you can see the <clears throat> fuses right here so when I first did the repair, um, I noticed that the fuse was in fact blown. It was a goner. It was kind of dark and black in there. And um, that just told me I needed a new fuse. So kind of crossed my fingers and just went over down to the hardware store, took the fuse with me and um, they compared it to their other fuses. And I ended up picking up um, that part for my Master Temp 250. It was a 1.25 amp, uh, amp maxi therm right here. It cost me about $14.95. So that was the part I replaced. Put it in brand new, everything like that. And um, sure enough, my board lit right up. Um, I'll go ahead and show you. Let me see. Let me shut this door back up. Um, let me turn my power back on here. There we go. So, as I come over to my screen here, you can see my LED display is in fact working again. So, I know that that fuse was the problem um, to me not getting any power to my uh, membrane board right there. So, if any of you guys are having the same issue, I would recommend just checking your control fuse inside the control box uh, before, you know, calling out any, like, service technicians and everything like that, uh, which can be uh, a very, very expensive, uh, you know, job, especially if you, you know, obviously, 
you're not going to know what you're doing. You're always going to be wondering. So you don't want to end up just paying out of pocket for something you don't have to and which is relatively easy to fix. And that took me about 10 minutes to replace once I had the part in my hand. So with that being said, I'll go ahead and put everything back up. And uh, as always, you know, when you're operating with live equipment, live wiring, everything like that, remember, always shut the power off so you do not get electrocuted or short anything out and have the job turning into a more expensive job. So I hope this helped you guys out as to where the location of the control box is. Uh, also, you know, the location of the control fuse. Well, that's pretty much it. I guess I'll talk to you guys later. This is Mofar for Life saying peace out.